Hello and welcome back to Will It Work? Today we're going to be taking a look at connecting a RAID 5 array to the Nintendo Wii U. Now there's a few different flavors of RAID, but we're just going to be looking at RAID 5 today. So this enclosure contains a RAID controller and slots for four different hard drives, which I have filled up with 250 gigabyte SATA drives. So a RAID 5 will consolidate all four of these drives into one large hard drive. Also, any data that's written to the RAID will sequentially be written across all the drives simultaneously. This will help improve performance. Another thing a RAID 5 does is it writes parity across all the hard drives. Now what does that mean? Well, if any one of these hard drives fail, the data on the RAID will remain intact on the remaining disks and access to that data will remain for the host computer that you have the RAID plugged into. This does come with a cost though, and that is the maximum capacity of one of the drives, in this case 250 gigabytes. So instead of this being one large one terabyte drive, it's going to be 750 gigabytes prior to formatting it. So what we're going to do now is plug in this enclosure to the Wii U, and we're going to see if the Wii U's operating system can format this RAID 5 array into its proprietary encrypted file system. And then we're going to try and move a game from the internal memory of the Wii U over to the array, try to play that game from the array, and then we'll simulate a hard drive failure by pulling out one of these hard drives and seeing if we can continue to play the game and load new levels. So let's get started. Okay, so I have the RAID enclosure plugged into the Wii U. Let's see if we can format it. That's a good sign. Wow. You know, part of me expects this to happen because the RAID controller is agnostic about the file system, but the other part of me thinks this is really freaking cool that the Wii U just formatted a RAID 5 array. Okay. So let's move over a game, do something fairly large. Let's do Nintendo Land. And we'll move it. Now I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but all the lights are flashing here on the four hard drive base. They're all being written to at the same time. So this is gonna take about four minutes, so I'll just go ahead and speed forward here a little bit. Okay, so it should be moved over now. So yeah, it's gone from the internal memory. And it's now on the RAID array. Okay, let's go back and launch this game now. Okay, it's back behind there. Raid's active over there. And we're in. Okay, so. Let's simulate a hard drive failing and then see what happens. So far so good. 
And now let's go into a mini game so it has to load a new world. And if you pay attention over here, the remaining drives will all light up as it's loading the new level. No data loss. And we're in. Let's see here. There's some uh, dialogue here we're going to have to skip through. But the level is mainly loaded at this point. Yeah. No problems whatsoever. So this RAID array works exactly as expected, just like you had it plugged into a Mac or a PC running Windows or Linux, except here we're running it on the Nintendo Wii U. And I think that is just awesome. Works perfectly. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe. It does help out. I'll be back soon with more, but that's all for now. Take care.